At the age of 17, after having lived most of my life in an abusive situation with extended family, uh, I conceived through incestuous rape. I, uh, I was very confused and I was very pressured by family members and by friends around me to abort my child. At 17, I, I was a farm kid. I knew how uh, conception happened. I knew what comes from conception as a baby. And I knew that this was a baby. I had been raised in the church. Uh, I was a born again Christian. And I understood that this was a life and I understood at 17 years old that I wasn't gonna take that life. That life was important. My grandmother came to me and she told me that I was an embarrassment to my family, that my child would always be shunned by this community, and that we had no place here for her, and that I needed to have an abortion, and there was no discussion. I was also told at that point in time, my grandmother said, if you don't abort this baby, I won't know you if I see you on the street. And so she didn't speak to me again. My grandmother did not speak to me again because I refused to abort my baby. When I told my parents that I was expecting, um, they were unaware at that time who the father of the child was and that it was a case of incestuous rape. And they told me that I had 30 days to find another place to live. I was 17 years old. I had no job. I had no money. I had no resources. And so it was a very difficult decision. I went to Planned Parenthood here in the area. I went into Planned Parenthood and told them what the situation was. Planned Parenthood told me, you need to have an abortion immediately because you're almost 20 weeks pregnant. And I told them I didn't want an abortion. I wanted to find maybe an adoptive couple, but that I needed a place to stay until I knew what I was going to do, but I wasn't going to have an abortion. And they told me they could not help me. Planned Parenthood did not report. Uh, this was, I was underage, and the father of the child was uh, a grown adult, and they did never, they never reported that. So, my aunt and uncle were very supportive of me and not aborting the baby. They helped me look at resources for adoption, and I talked to Christian adoption agencies. Uh, in order to place my child. Uh, I had a minister that also was very, very helpful, and he found the Booth Memorial um, Maternity Home, and he helped me get placed there so that I had a place to live while I made these difficult decisions. And without that support, I would have had no way to take care of my baby. I had nowhere to live. I had no one else to support me. Had I had an abortion, I would have remained in the situation that I was in. But because I became pregnant, it became a crisis situation within the family. And because of that, it came to light what was happening, and I was removed from that situation. Um, not just that, but the birth of this child gave me hope. I came from an environment that was very abusive, and I did not feel loved. I did not feel I had purpose in life. And my pregnancy and my daughter gave me purpose. It gave me something to strive for and it gave me hope for a better life. I went on to get my high school diploma. I went on to get my college. I went to college. Uh, I went on to a career. I went on to raise beautiful, well-adjusted children. Uh, I, I have a marriage of 31 years to a man who became the father of my daughter, who adopted my daughter. The idea that your whole life is ruined because you have a baby, whether through conceived through rape or any other way, is a ridiculous notion that our society is inflicting on women. It doesn't ruin your life, it makes your life broader. It broadens your horizons, it gives you more. The idea that a woman who is raped has a right to kill a child is completely negative. It doesn't help the woman and it doesn't help the baby. A woman is stronger than that. A woman does not need to be told 
she should kill a child in order to feel better about what happened. It's not going to make the rape go away. It just means that now I've been raped and now I'm the mother of a dead baby also. It just heaps insult upon injury. Women are stronger than this. Women don't need to abort their children in order to uh, get past a rape. Their children will help them get past a rape. Producing life and producing something very positive from a negative experience is very empowering for a woman to do. Women that are raped have compassion. They don't want to be an abuser the way that they were abused. They don't want to hurt someone else. They know what that feels like, and they know what it feels like to be out of control, and they know what it feels like to have that inflicted on them, that pain, physical and mental, and they don't want to inflict that on their children. My child was conceived in rape. That doesn't make her less than human. My child has been a huge blessing in my life. She's been the light of my life, and she's been the reason that I've become the human being that I am. Because of the struggles that I had in not just her conception, but in her, in her raising, in the family situation that occurred because of this, I have become a better human being. I feel that I have learned compassion for other people, for the mistakes that people make. I feel that my daughter has brought a light into this world in the person that she is because of her conception, because of her upbringing in knowing this. My daughter is no less a human being than any other human being that's ever born. And the idea that a child conceived in rape is, is somehow less of a human being. They are the least of the least. When, when pro-lifers say, even pro-lifers will say, I don't believe in abortion except in the case of rape. Well, what you're saying is my daughter's life has less value than any other baby on this earth, and that's not true. My daughter is worthwhile. All children conceived in rape are worthwhile children.